And Jeremy Sohan says he does not care what anyone says about him. I think he truly, truly means it. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? So there's no secret that I'm an absolutely huge Jeremy Sohan fan. Um, it's not just due to his hair color, uh, but it's due to the way that he approaches the game, the way that uh, he has so much versatility on the court, his basketball IQ, but it is his personality off the court as well. I think he's a genuine, at least from what I can see thus far, seems like a genuine dude, and he really doesn't care what anyone thinks of him. And this is an example of that. So I initially saw this on Instagram, and I just kind of ignored it. I was just like, yeah, Jeremy Sohan, just, you know, being Jeremy, saying whatever, you know, I don't care. Uh, keep crying about it. Uh, but then I saw Dylan post this and then a few people on Twitter was talking about it and a couple people sent it to me. So I was like, you know what? Let's talk about this. Um, so this is, I believe, I was trying to see if this is a specific person. I don't think so. I think this is just a fan. Um, but you, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think this is just a fan. And he's basically complaining about Jeremy Sohan in the last minutes of the previous game. If you guys don't know what happened, Basically, Jeremy Sohan uh, was inbounding the ball and he waited way too uh, long. Uh, it, it was kind of a weird play. I don't know. Uh, wasn't aware if we had timeouts. I don't know what was going on. The whole team just completely, they were just god awful uh, down the stretch. Uh, so, yeah, quite a few Spurs fans have talked about it. I don't really care. Super young team. You're going to make mistakes. Who cares? Um, but apparently, this guy cares. So, let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say. Um, about Jeremy Sohan. Keep it a buck, cuz. You a grown ass man in the fucking NBA. You should know the fucking situation you in. Real shit. Yeah, he took that. He took that to heart. Um, not a big deal whatsoever. So and this is what uh, Jeremy Sohan had to say. And you can see right here. Hope you sleep well, big man. With little hearts on it that's just who he is that's just how he is um but this is nothing new from jeremy sohan as far as not really caring about uh what people say i do believe that he took the westbrook stuff to heart because he did respond with that saying oh and you guys know what i'm talking so i don't have to bring this up um but he did come out and say look i am uh, a westbrook fan like i've always been a westbrook fan but you know whatever uh he kind of brushed that off but still uh but jeremy sohan even here and i can't actually click on this because there's a paywall um but you can see here I, and we went over this before i don't care what people outside the organization say i believe in my coaches and my teammates this was before uh christmas in which i believe he was talking about the one-handed shot but you know that's just kind of his approach in general but this is what pop had to say about uh jeremy sohan and this is why i absolutely love him so here we go this is what he had to say he said popovich said Sohan embraced the new free throw style right away but he says this he's courageous he's pretty fearless and he doesn't worry about what people think uh pop and, and this is the thing when Popovich says something you listen okay because he knows if it, you can complain a lot about pop you can talk about his rotations at times you can say that he overthinks himself and sometimes he overly coaches all those things are true but one thing that he's continuously and consistently been elite at is understanding people, understanding their motivations, and being able to relate uh, to players. Uh, but this is what he had to say about him, and he doesn't mix words. He just wants to get better, so that's a character thing. A lot of guys wouldn't even want to try it, and he's talking about the free throws. But this right here is what stood out to me. He's courageous, he's pretty fearless, doesn't worry about what people think. He truly is like that. Um, you know, I don't think that, you know, some people will say, well, you know, changing your hair color or whatnot, that's a insecurity thing. I have no idea. Okay. We, we have, we have no idea when it comes to that, but I view it as him just being himself and not really caring what other people think. Um, so look, I love Jeremy Sohan. He's a nasty player, not necessarily a dirty player. I know some people say he's dirty. I don't think he's dirty. Um, he's a nasty player. Okay. He's, he's a nuisance. He's going to irritate you. And then he's just big enough that like you can't even retaliate against them so i'm sure that really annoys players as well eventually he's going to get a push in the back eventually okay that, that's just going to happen um but i love what i'm seeing from jeremy sohan this is an example of him just not caring um and he's just going to move on get better whatever whoever this is he did take it way too serious like it's not that serious my guy 
Uh, like I will complain uh, about players all day long, but you, you need to hold on to this energy for when we're a winning team again. Cause right now who cares? Okay. We, we need to be losing these games, but anyways, I give it to you guys later, man. If you want to support the channel, you know, actually speaking of Sohan, if you want to support the channel guys, um, some people have wondered like, where's all the products you just scroll all the way down and press view all products. And if you scroll down here, you go to next, sorry. If you scroll down here, look at this. It's still here. Sohan's still here, man. Still here. A uh, fresh kid in San Antonio. Uh, uh, Polish sensation in 15 years. So if you guys want to support the channel, please do. And I got some other designs coming pretty soon as well. Anyways, I'll give it to you guys later. Uh, until next time, bye.